Hello, my name is Brandon Silberg and I'm giving my presentation on the Nova Rupta eruption in 1912. The Nova event is located in the Aleutian Mountain Range, which is located in southwestern Alaska. In this picture, you can see the vent, which is now here covered by a rhyolite dome and the trident volcanoes in the background. Uh, from June 6th to June 8th, 1912, roughly 60 hours of eruption, there were three different episodes all giving different layers of different sediments. Uh, results of this was roughly 17 kilometers cubed of fallout, roughly 11 kilometers cubed of ignimbrite, and collectively there were 13.5 kilometers cubed of zone magma. Uh, there are different geological classifications of these deposits, rhyolite, dacite, andesite, and banded andesite, as you can see here. This diagram shows the uh, ash flow compared to different volcano eruptions. Nova Rupta is this big gray one that goes into Canada and modern day US. This is another diagram which shows the pyroclastic and ash flow contours. Um, mainly the pyroclastic flows fell into the valley which is now the valley of 10,000 smokes and the farthest ring out is one meter. What changed? Like I said earlier there's new geological compositions from the surface down. Um, the pyroclastic and ash flows fell into the nearby valley which killed off most living organisms both plants and some wildlife not much but it killed it off and now that's known as the Valley of 10,000 Smokes. Also nearby Mount Katmai, uh, the tip of the mountain collapsed and now there is a caldera and this is a picture of it. This is a picture of the Valley of 10,000 Smokes. Like I said this used to be lush with life and now it's just brown and dead. Uh, human life was also affected. The nearest place that there were humans living was Kodiak, Alaska. Uh, here, there was about rough, on average one foot of ash fall, but here you can see that the uh, doorways are covered with ash. And I got a couple more. Here's one of a guy standing there on his porch. You can easily see he's about knee deep in ash. Um, no one was dead, but it was pretty scary. Uh, conclusion the eruption of Nova Rupta has been claimed to be the largest and most vol voluminous eruption of the 20th century. Excuse me. Um, you can see in this diagram how much cubic miles of magma was in Nova Rupta compared to. Uh, Mount St. Helens and Pinatubo and everything else. And, yep, that is my thing. Thank you very much, and have a good summer.